What's going on YouTube, Geosan right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to spoof your location on your iOS device running iOS 17, 18 beta, and even iOS 16 and older using Tenorshare iAnyGo. Now this program allows you to essentially change the location to anywhere in the world for any application that uses the location data. So especially games that require you to move social media applications and stuff like that. Now this could be for various reasons, whether you want to hide your location from trackers and whatever kind of applications or whether you want to use it for games if you want to play them without moving then you can actually use Tenorshare AnyGo on both Windows and on Mac OS. So there's a free trial available you can find it here on the Tenorshare.com you install it like any other tool and then you have it like this press yes in here and with the device connected to your computer you will be able to change the location in a couple of seconds. Right so this is the interface of the program you have a couple of options over here these are the main options and then here you have your account settings and stuff like that. So the very first option is to change the location. This allows you to change location instantly to any point in the world. So I'm going to go ahead in here, tap enter. And as you can see, it detected my phone. I'm going to tap on it and press next. And it will go directly to the map. And as you can see, the current location where I am right now. And you can essentially scroll in order to zoom in and out on the map. You can pick any location whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll to a different point. Let's go and set somewhere in the United States in in San Francisco over here. Click in there and place a waypoint and press start to modify to press continue over here. Now, as you can see, in just a couple of seconds, it has indeed changed it. So it's important to note that if you do change the location, it will actually persist until you reboot the device. So even if you disconnect right now from the uh, computer, you will still essentially have the new fake location on the device, even if you're no longer connected to the phone. However, this is only available in this mode. If you are using any of the travel modes, which essentially fake the location by making the device believe it's actually on the move, those require you to be connected to the computer so that the program keeps on updating the location to the device. So in order to use any of those options, you go back in here on the main menu and you go over here. This is the single spot movement, which allows you to create a path. You tap enter, select the device again, and the map will open once more. Now at this point, you can essentially create multiple waypoints. For example, we are here and I want to go here. What the device will think is that you are really moving from point A to point B and you can actually set the speed as well. This one will simulate going by foot, this one by bike, um, this one by motorbike and of course car. So press start navigation and that's it. You can see you can pick up the uh, paths. I'm gonna pick up this one over here and that's essentially it. Your device can start to move and tap continue and that's it. Device now believes it is indeed moving from point A to point B and in any application that requires location services, for example, Pokemon Go or even the weather application, they will actually start believing you are on the move, which could have various effects on your gameplay and various effects on your applications. Because even the Maps application believes now that you are on the move. So this can affect other applications that you may not want to affect. So do keep that in mind. Now to, to stop that, you press stop over here, press yes. We can go back in here and the uh, multi-spot movement allows you to do exactly the same thing, but with multiple points. So I'm going to go from point A to point B, but then from point B to point C and stuff like that and complete maybe a loop. And it will actually follow the loop. This is going to be the first point to reach, then the second and then the third. We can select the speed over here as well press start to move. It even tells you the distance, how many kilometers you have over here. So that's essentially it. The device will now follow the exact same loop we have created. So yes, essentially you should use the program carefully because if you are simulating movements that shouldn't exist, it's much easier for you to be detected by the application. Then the joystick movement is essentially a very granular version of the same type of program. You can use the joystick over here to move in a specific direction. So if you want very high precision, this would do as well and you can select the speed as well over here. And the final version over here is jump teleport. You can plan and mark locations in advance without needing to select them again every time you finish modifying your location. So you can press enter in here, select the device again, and this is the interface that you can plan your routes and stuff like that. And these do get saved. You can even search for a specific address or GPS coordinates over here. So if I say Milan, it will actually find Milan, Italy. 
and it will create a path. Now that's essentially it with the program. It's pretty easy to use. You have a couple of options over here and you just select the location. If you want to get the program, definitely check out their website. It's available on the Tenorshare website and it does support iOS 18, which is currently in beta. So if you want to use the program with various applications, they have tested it with Line, with Pokemon Go, WhatsApp, Facebook, Snapchat, Telegram, and many others like TikTok and Pinterest. So you should be good to go as long as you do not create very abnormal moves. Movements. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.